what's up guys so here is a great new list of apps that you will really like all of these apps will add something new to your phone so let's start with custom navigation bar the first app here is custom navigation bar Android O has this feature which allows its users to customize navigation buttons and also notification bar well this app brings that feature to current Android devices you do need to provide it permissions you do not exactly need root but you do need to connect your phone to PC and run some commands through ADB. This app teaches you how to do so. And once it's set up, you can change the layout of software navigation buttons. And the changes are instant. You can invert the buttons. You also have option to go fully immersive by hiding both the notification bar and the navigation buttons. This provides more screen state for your apps to use. And you also have the option to add a new button that can perform a task that you want. For example, I added a button that brings down notification bar. So overall, it's a great app. And if you are having trouble setting it up, you can contact me. The links are below in the description box. Next up is Privacy Screen Guard and Filter. Originally introduced in BlackBerry phones, Privacy Screen Guard makes only certain part of the screen visible to protect it from anyone who is peeking on you. So for example, if you are messaging someone, you can hide the older messages and only keep the person with your type visible. The way this app works is very simple. You just open it and a filter will pop up. The screen will work as it worked before. The only difference is now you can hide certain areas of the screen. So there will be a small rectangle which will be visible and the other parts will be covered by the filter and you have this button here which will allow you to change the opacity of the filter the size of the screen and also the shape you can also exit this mode from here overall it's a really good app does what it's meant to do now we have got pocket sense pocket sense is built to keep your phone safe from thieves so when you open this app, you'll have three options. Pocket Sense Mode, Char Sense Mode, and Motion Sense Mode. With Pocket Sense Mode enabled, if your phone is taken out from your pocket, and if it's not unlocked within a set time period, an alarm will start to ring. Same goes for charge sense mode. If it is unplugged and not unlocked, it will start to ring the alarm. Well, this can be annoying, but at the same time, it can be life saving. So I suggest enabling these features only when you are traveling or if you need to plug in your phone somewhere in the public. So overall, I think it's a great app to have in your phone in case you need it. The next app here is SoundCloud. You might have heard about them and if you didn't knew they also have an Android app. And now they have added this new thing called Upload Section. Which will show you a playlist with new music personalized to match your taste so that you can discover new music on a daily basis. There's also many playlists that are generated for different moods. So I'm pretty sure from this section you will discover a lot of new music that you will definitely like. And apart from that you can do all the other stuff that SoundCloud usually is famous for. It's got a huge library of audio and sometimes it feels great to head over here for some new tunes from rising artists. Next up is Castbox. It's an all-in-one app for audiobooks, FM music, radio and podcast, all for free. If you are new to podcasts, it will be a great new way to discover some podcasts that you will like. And for active listeners, here you might come across some new channels that you have never heard of. So here you'll have featured section which will recommend podcast with a description so that you can read about it before listening. Then there's trending section and the library is also sorted based on categories. And this app has got a lot of great features. The widget selection is good. It has sleep timer and ability to download podcast. 
If you haven't already dived into podcast world, do it now using this app. The next app is Grammar Pal. This one is great to find out errors. And this app works great as it's expected to. So whenever you are typing, a small refresh icon will pop up. And after you are done typing, just press it. It will analyze whatever you have written and let you know the errors you have made. It will search for grammatical errors, spelling errors, and then suggest you for replacements. And it works everywhere, in note-taking apps and messenger, basically wherever you need to type. And you do not need to open this app for it to work. The refresh icon will appear automatically. And that is what makes this app great. It feels like that feature is integrated in the phone itself. The next app here is Learning Lock Screen. This is a unique app that tries to enhance your security. So it tries to learn how you draw your unlock pattern. And the way you enter a lock pattern is different if any other person is to enter the same pattern. It tries to pick out those small minor differences and then sees if it was actually you or not. It is not 100% accurate and it will take a while before it learns how you actually enter a pattern and start being useful. So do expect it to fail few times when you first install this app. And if it finds the pattern suspicious, it will ask you to enter a pen that you have set. The concept seems great here and this app can be further polished much more with future So that's all about this video guys. Hope you found some great app for yourself. And do let me know if you have any video request. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more videos.